Catherine's joining you once again. Oh my god! Oh my freaking god! Episode of Dragon Ball Super! Episode 63! Don't defy Saint Black! The curtain rises on Vegeta's heroic fight! Ah, oh, that, that title? Too much says it all. First of all, this animation, this episode, spot on! Terminate! Every time it seems like it's a Vegeta focused eccentric episode, the animation is ah, top notch, class. Oh, boy. Anyway, we start off the episode. Bulma redeems herself from, from the other episode. It's been how I realized their mistake, what not. And she acknowledges, you know, just hanging there, chunks. Like Vegeta and Goku, they will be able to defeat Black and Tsumasu in the summer. We cut to Karami's lookout. Oh, God. There's Dende and Popo right standing there, contemplating about all that's occurring. Next thing you know, boom! The whole chamber, the time chamber, the palace explodes! It's this, and Vegeta, he's there and he's like puffing and he's sweating. It's like, oh, it's obviously he went there to train, you see? He did go there to train. Six months in there, he could half a day outside. It's literally he blew up everything while he was inside the, the time chamber. My god, it's like you think he'd be trapped in there, but you no. Know, if you recall in Dragon Ball Z, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks used that screaming technique to escape. Vegeta's a god now, so. I'm not surprised if you break through, break free, but obviously they have to rebuild it. They can rebuild it. <laughs> and so he just flies off and leaves all the mess behind all the debris for uh, Dende and Popo to deal with. Oh, that was awesome. Awesome opening scene. Cut to Kakarot, Master Oshi Darwin, has mastered the Makuba technique. Thanks, Master Oshi, for everything, for teaching him, and all that. This episode, they, they did not cut bloody, you know, just did not dwindle, you know. It just went straight to the point. Straight to the action. Because the prior episode, there wasn't much of it. There was more... Uh, so yes, straight to the point, straight to the action. No filler, no talking, no time to muck around, you know, whisk around, and all that. So, yes, we tapped to the future, and some events have been filled off screen. We would have showed in the last episode of Dragon Ball Super, to be honest, instead of wasting time, you know, recapping whatever sort of everything to the characters that were like out of the loop. That could have happened off screen. Uh, what? Trunks, laying in bed, wounded, patched up. You know, somehow he was able to escape from the battle, of course. Mine must have caused some more diversion to get him the hell out of there. And in fact, he wakes up and sees Mine approaching him. And, you know, it's like she's going to be another citizen. Clearly, he's being delusional because it's not mine at all. It's actually Yajuro. Yajuro gives Trunks a sense of it. And Trunks goes, Where's Ma? Yajuro goes, like, She took a bunch of men. Like, you know, she's gonna go in a state. Uh, Black Zamasu's hideout, and they discovered who it is. And then Trunks, like, Oh, no. And like, so quickly, there's no time to waste. He takes Gets the hell out of there. And it's not touching uh, the scene actually with the kids. Actually, 
actually built a truck to me. I think they call it Brother. Anu Chan stands for Brother, you know, Japanese. And yeah, that's when you find out why it's gone once again. My god, this girl, the bravery is above 110 seconds. Jeez, I could say if anyone could see what Trump says in there. That's for sure. Anyway, so we cut across indeed to mine. And the two men have come to her. And she goes to the man, look, you get out, out of there, you know, you get out of here. I thought, and it's like, if this fades, then, you know, you die. But the man, oh, no, if it fails, it's an honor to die beside you. They only show the respect they have for my Jesus. In the meantime, Black and Tomasu are having tea, casually chatting away. And well, actually, Black goes, Oh, well, the next time, you know, they're singing this term, I'll fight Goku, my power will be to put to its max, and then we can destroy it. We no longer need them around, you know, pretty much. <clears throat> pretty much keeping them around. So it can get stronger. <clears throat> yeah. Taking advantage of the situation is not just a good Anyway, I, as the wife, and things out this special kind of bullet, special super energy condensed kind of bullet made by the late future ball of himself. And she goes out of here, you know? Target higher beings, aliens, what? She's trying to alien her, she's shaking. And while black comes on us and she's chatting, no one even sees it come. BAM! And it kind of hits black, and it hits up a tire airing, or it hits him, but it's enough to wound him, and he falls, to, no, not to wound, to wound him, and he falls backwards. And the was like, what the hell was that? Then Black gets up and he's enraged. You can see his tongue is clear. It's those models, you know, they never work. So I was like, uh oh, that's making it sad for us. You know, there's a warning, you know, it's not trying to fire. They convince, they, 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 they combine the glass and boom! Fire! And the glass is coming, traveling, fire. But just get out of here. There's no way to it looks like this is the end for the brave girl and the two men. No! In the nickel time, tracks, he comes and he blocks it. Yeah. Catches up the blast. And he's a lot stronger now because, you know, Zentai boost. And what's more, that mysterious power, godlike power, that he achieved in prior episodes, he's able to tap into it at will. It wasn't just a rage boost. Oh, Trunks, Trevor, you are truly Vegeta's son. And then it's like to us all black, oh, let's go and do it. And then black powers up to Super Saiyan, Rose, and boom. The fighting's underway. Boom. And there's a change of blows. And Trunks did not smash him down. And he's taking on Black. But he's got the sword. And he's like swinging, swinging, blocking Black's you know, razor bloody blade. And Black goes, oh, well, you need that toy, clearly, you know, to fit it against me, you know. It's like Black kicks him against, you know, carrying bloody cliff, a wall thing. But Trunks counts with his sword. Slashing, 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 and it's like, ah, oh, no, you fool, this is just a like, diversion, you know? To, you know, Black drop his guard, he didn't need the sword. And then, boom, he takes charge, BAM! He wins Black to abdomen, and he keeps punching, punching, attacking, and attacking, oh, to the point that now, here it comes. 
black. He is being thrown back. But here it comes. The Gallic Gun! Trunks indeed fires the Gallic Gun. And black could do nothing but try and bloody. Oh, catch and push it. But no, he's being thrown back. Trunks is launching it with all his power. It's like, ah! And black can't do nothing. He's being firing back. Oh! And he's screaming. It's like he's agonizing. In pain. Boom! He gets sent to the floor. And the blast continues. Oh! This is a super gallant gun indeed. Incredible if Vegeta saw that. And Black Saga. Ah! It looks like he's going to bloody be you know, destroyed. Or killed. Wiped out. But it's enough. To win them out of the battle. And then Trunks turns his attention to Zamasu and then boom, knocks him down. Zamasu is like there. But Trunks he grabs him like a, like a chicken, one of those holes, wrestler, you know, holes, you know. And it's like, I know you're immortal, but your immortality must have its limits, you know. You know? Cannot survive the help, you know, I've blown in a bit. And Trunks, he charges, and it's like he's gonna do a final explosion, like Eugene did against Margin Boo. My god! But as he's charging, he's being engulfed by the blast. Boom! Black re emerges. Trunks gets stepped from behind through his uh, abdomen from the side. Reverts to base and collapses against the buildings. Pull from the ground. But just before Black to us could do anything else, in the nick of time, the time machine reappears. Trunks, still consciously awake, goes far, he returns, punching lands, and that one, boom, jumps out, and Vegeta carries ball and ball, and jumped out to air yeah, two. Like, oh, wow. And then it's like, oh, you know, balls are, where's Trunks, you know, and then Vegeta and Tekla's like, it's back, you know, it's cute, but it's like fading, you know. This is like a girl to die. That back step. Then Bob's like, you gotta do something, quick! And the Jews like, well, they're already here. No threat. Still have some sensor beans left. <laughs> maybe two? I'd say maybe that two left or something. Two or one. Anyway, my. She gives Trunks a sensor bean here. He's he's on. He's over. Masu confront Vegeta and Kakarot. And this is stare down. Oh classic like back to Dragon Ball Z days. You know. Like, like Western style. I thought I was looking for it's like great many things. Like making Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and you know now Dragon Ball Super. So but, oh dear, Black launches a blast because he, as he intended, destroys the time machine right before anyone could react or do anything. It's like, ah, shit. And back then it's like, ah, oh, well now, the Black goes, now, looks like you are going to die here. There's no escape. And Black and then Vegeta goes, so that's where you're wrong. You're actually going to die here. This is your dream. And we actually brought an urn here to you know, commemorate the uh, occasion, the moment. <laughs> and then Vegeta's like, where's the urn? And Kepler's like, um, oh, oh shit, 
I left it on the, on the, on the time machine. Oh my god. This clown would be here, idiot. It's like, there with you, there's like, letting him like, have it ripped into him. What the hell, you idiot? I don't think you just like the most important thing that we needed, like, you know, to beat him on the time machine so casually. I'm not holding it, am I? And it's like, you didn't get what's like, what you didn't tell me, like, why did you didn't grab it or whatever? And it's like, Vegeta was like grabbing ball, now I had to, how, how could ball run get out of a time machine, you know, it's kind of high altitude, and Kakwa's supposed to be the one who sealed Amasu. Oh my god. And then Tomasu uh, giving a speech in the meantime, oh, you know, the gods are so great, and mortals should be this powerful, and this and that, and then Black's like, they're not the same. I'm more like chest, not chesticizing whatever myself and all that. So that was kind of comedic, funny moment, you know, with the serious dark voice at the hand. But before any fighting or confrontation or whatever can actually go you know, take place, two more beings appear. Dun, 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 dun. It's Beerus! No, 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 no. It's not Beerus. No, 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 no. It's Jawasu, of course, via the time ring. Now let's try um, to yeah, travel to the future. And accompanying him is the Supreme Ha. Yes, indeed. Beerus, for whatever reason, did not decide to come. And it's Supreme Kai! Which is a good and interesting thing to what we were talking about earlier in the previous reviews. And you also just like chest his eyes and he's like, kind of like how could you do all this, you know, you went against the gods, you know, this price of like, you could have been a great guy and then you've fallen in this. And Kakarot was giving, um, he's not the one you're supposed to talk to, because he was talking to the future, to us, and technically, technically, that didn't kill him, you know, because the future Trump's timeline. In fact, he's supposed to talk to Black because he's like from the present timeline, the alter timeline, you know what we're talking about in the other reviews. And then he turns, oh, uh, how did you do such a thing and all that? But Black, Zamasu, you know, shocked seeing him. Fire blast. They're, they're not having none of this. And you think, Glasgow's gonna bite the dust this time. Supreme Kai, and Supreme Kai dies, and then who dies? Beerus. Boom! Regina and Kakarot cancel out the attack. Oh, spectacular fashion. They say Glossy to bring pie and stuff with you. Kakarot's like, oh, you know, you can you took a lead now, we've got this. No, I need to see the demise of my student, you know, for myself, for my in the very eyes. And so we tired of no, well if we stay I'm gonna stay with you and follow you right, you know? Which opens up to the possibilities that I will cover again later. After this week. So then Kekos like, well, we haven't got the like we don't have the Mafuba in a contain anything. And then the Jesus like, doesn't matter, we just have to be the jack, you know, you're fashion. Kekos like, um, okay, who are you going to take on? Gina's like, leave black to me. And Kekalot's like, you okay, I'll take on Zimasu. And each charge to their respective opponents. Of course, Zimasu could be a more to immortality for all the people go for him. Kekalot easily is bringing him down and all that. And then what ensues, the real meat of the fight in the episode is Vegeta and black. And Vegeta goes boom, boom, watching punches and punches and kicks and roundhouse kicks and oh, elbows. And he's actually pushing Black back. Yes, the training, the sick one's training in the hyperbolic country of pain off. 
Ah, oh, just classic hand grabbing moment. And he's just ah, he's pushing Black back. It's like Black can't do anything. He could print out his size, uh, the cyber and blades and whatever you call them. And he tries to slash and there's slice at Regina, you know? Stand, but Regina's dodging, 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 flying! No, oh, Black, he doesn't know what to do! And then BAM! Vegeta lands hit! Boom, 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 boom! He's, Vegeta now is pushing Black through the buildings! Ah, this way and that way and, and then Vegeta goes, you know, oh, me and you miscalculated, you know? That body you have, yes, it's been through a great many battles. And you know, throughout time, history, errors. But, you know, one thing that's different you, your fate, that body does not belong to you. And he has him pinned to the ground. Vegeta has Black pinned to the ground. And boom! Punches him right in the abdomen. Black's like, ah! Feel the pain. Black is down on the ground. Vegeta picks him up. This is like classic wrestling style moment. Brutal. Savage. A feat that we have not seen for a long time from Vegeta. Not even when he fought Golden Freezer. Was he that brutal? That savage? Redemption is at hand. Yes. For his pride. For his family. For all his shortcomings that came before from this big saying of a god man. She grabs Black, holding him by his head. Oh, Gordon kicks him. And Black is brought. Go back. She just like, huh. I'll tell you why. That you're nothing compared to me. Because I am the Saiyan Prince! Prince Vegeta! A triumphant yell comes from Vegeta. The black is wounded, wounded, still smiling, gets up, there's a stare down, and pretty much, whew, that's the end of that episode. Vegeta fans rejoice! Because Vegeta, in this episode, truly shocked, truly had his moment. Now, we come across the next week's episode. Don't want spoilers, leave now. I want to stay. Indeed. Now, what I want to mention is the urn that they call it, the Fuga containing the Gaja, that's in a time machine. The Gorma was able to savage parts of it too. She tried to pop out with a hose and, and, and hose it down and black to look in and then and she's hiding it. One day, but one day it distracted fighting, she gets all the pieces she could. I got Gorma resourceful. Gets out a capsule, right? It's like, oh, I should have seen the moment like this coming, you know? <laughs> she launches it. And this is this warehouse. That's where the warehouse came from. From the capsule. Oh god, I don't know says it. I mean, I predicted the moment like this. It reminded me of freaking Pokemon right now. Pokemon X, Y, where there's a character called Bloody Clement. When a dire situation, he always has some invention or mechanic or whatever. It's like, oh, it's like, I always predicted like the moment like this would come. I was prepared. So, yeah, so then Trunks is, comes flying in with Mai, right? So he's not going to partake in the fight right now. And Paul's like, oh, well, oh, this is broken, so then Trunks is like, I'm going to fix that, you know? So, Trunks doesn't have to take technique. I don't know what the hell that was about. The method of fixing it. Trunks is gonna do it or something. It's fire? It's not a super glue. It's super glue. Anyway, 
Okay, so that's it. Next week. The fusion of black into muscle is going to occur. Vipatara, I think. Last dire moment of desperation, as I said. And gonna fuse! And, yes, that new fused thing is gonna have green skin and white hair. It looks like, you know, it's super saiyan white or whatever. But that's why. That's why it's gonna be super saiyan white because the bloody black muscle of him right now is gonna have that spiky white hair that looks like a bloody super saiyan kakarot's up. Except the skin is gonna be green and it's gonna have that tie kind of resemblance. So it'll be a mixture of fusion of the two. So that's gonna happen. So yeah, that's that's when the turn, the tides turn again because before they fuse, Vegeta and Kakarot and Trunks and you know, whoever else are gonna have them against the boats. If they repair the jar, maybe Kakarot tries to do them in the Fuga. The dire last moment situation, go, switch earrings, fuse. But there was also these scenes when, when Vegeta was still taking on black. That black was like making copies of himself, like this thing, thing like the after image technique. Or for never, for never world, if you never heard of him, actually suggested that black, for whatever all intents and purposes, he could have been immortal but uh, not realize it. And that's why when you think he's gonna die, he comes back stronger and stronger. Because I mean, he must have made a wish for immortality. Could have spanked him. He could have spanked him because he was with him at the time, because he was still Damasu, even though he was in the body of Kakarot. I don't know about that, it could be a possibility, but it definitely didn't want to fuse, they would still be immortal. And the only way to really seal him up or defeat him is sealing him up. Don't know, it's all speculation, but we wait and see. I don't think so. But it's strange how it does become stronger and stronger and, and yeah, anyway, to the point I was saying, the last one, and Supreme Cup are there, they retrospectively have Patara earrings. What could this mean? <coughs> it means that out of sheer desperation, of course, by the other side, in Kakarot will fuse into Vegeta. Hmm. Yes, I think we will see Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. But, if that's not enough, if somehow Black Masu still beats Vegeta down for whatever, whatever reason, there's a chance we could technically see a freeway fusion. And, and Trunks also uses the, um, not that one, you know, Atari even from uh, Supreme Kai. They fuse Vegeta Trunks, Vegeta Trunks, or Vegeta. We'll see Vegeta. I, I am 99.9% certain Vegeta will emerge because it makes sense. 65, episode 65. Vegeta's pride, Kakarot's anger, Trunks push. Yep. We shall see the facts. This episode was the Vegeta episode. One way you can rejoice if you are a Vegeta fan. My god, I can't wait to see Super J in uh, review of it. Uh. Whew. This episode. Ah, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Biased, probably biased or whatever, but animation, the action. Ah, spot on. I do not see the reason why this episode has to be flawed or anything like that. <sighs> anyway, I'd like to hear your thoughts about this episode, so feel free to comment by all means and like. Comment, you know, rate, subscribe, all that. 
And it is, this has been, of course, the one and only Iron Prince. Until next time, keep on training!